long drive, Gary. Yeah, man, but hey, we got all the footage we needed. I guess we gotta go put this Kent Narrow show together. All right, let's do it. It's, it's show time. Well, there, there's our guys. That's Coop and Gary who put together the show. And where was Jeff? Uh, I guess somebody had to run the camera, did they? Yeah, we never know where Jeff yeah, okay. is. You know, so, he's kind of confusing. And Lisa Zappa, look who is here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The great Del Marble Life's Katie Zerilli. I had to be here on Kent Narrows Day. You yeah, know, we're doing time. our small town series, Kent Narrows. Right? Third time around. Third time. There's just too much to cover in the first two. That's just it. So you, of course, heard us right. This is the third time we've had the honor of featuring this beauty by the Eastern Bay. Of course, Jimmy, we've been there. Yes. You know, we get it. We, we know why we keep coming back. Yep, yep, yep. Now, if you haven't been there to Kent Narrows, the big question is, why? Uh, so here, here, here's what we're going to do today. We are going to highlight just a few of the many millions of reasons why it is the perfect place for a weekend getaway, a day trip, maybe a complete summer vacation. I love it. But before we do that, Jimmy, let's let's recap some of the fun we've had in the past. Okay. <laughs> Have fun. Any kind of pina coladas and frozen rum runners and all that fun stuff. We want to thank them for this delicious lemonade. You didn't like yours, did you? Not much at all. Nope. And I'll take that corn and I'll take this crab shell. Sure. Which has all this oh. special seasoning on it. <laughs> I think I want to go for these uh, cupcakes here with the little crabs on them. A whole new meaning to crab cakes. Yeah, th thanks, Lisa. That's wow. And thanks for the sample I'm sure you're going to bring me. I'll tell you one thing, I can, I love being in Kent Narrows and being on that boat right. with Jody Schultz. I mean, he put up with me, wanted to act kind of like a Kate Winslet <laughs> and be on the Titanic and all that. And so it's just a great time. And, and He's a load of fun of him himself. That's it. And in a little bit, we, we went for another boat ride this time, but it was with his son Kirby was the, uh, was captaining the ship. So there you go. all in the family. Yep. There you go. <laughs> So yeah, so we got some good, we of course had good memories, but we want to know if you, our viewers have had amazing memories in Kent Narrow. So definitely please let us know, post on our Facebook. Right. Tell us all the things because I know it's like Kent Narrows is one of those places. It's like once you have been there and you talk to somebody about it, they go, oh yeah, I went to the restaurant there or da 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 da. So we want to know, yeah. you know. You got pictures, you got video, we'd love to see them. We need it all. And probably going to be a lot of memories to share because it is such a popping place. It's certainly going to be popping. The uh, weekend of June 4th, that's when the 6th Annual Chesapeake Bay Motoring Festival is going to take place on the waterfront lawn of the Kent Island Yacht Club. Now, this is an event featuring antique, classic, hot rod, and sports cars. I love it, but what makes it stand out is that they'll be surrounded by antique and classic speedboats and yachts. And Jimmy, you're going to love this. Two of the categories in, the, in this show are best car to take your mama to church and car most inclined to stop for gas. There might be a couple of those. Yeah. Could be a few. I would park my car there. I can gas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this, there, there is a perfect time to actually enjoy it outdoors, and Kent Narrows certainly delivers. Now, whether it's uh, in the Jetty Restaurant uh, and the Dock Bar, the Bridges, the Crab Deck, uh, Red Eyes, Big Owl, so many spots feature live outdoor and dockside entertainment. I mean, you're right on the water, oh, you're beautiful. enjoying it, you're mm -hmm. having that, oh, it's just great. Well, maybe you're more into nature, bird watching, you can always see a bunch of species, Kent Narrows, the perfect place to relax and take it all in. You have riverfront trails, the Fairy Point Nature Park, and the Cross Island Trail. Now, the fun thing about these is you never know what you're going to come across, and you know how rich Delmarva is, of course, with different birds, so bird watchers, you're right. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You gotta go. Exactly. Well, we are so glad that you are joining us as we journey around Kent Narrows. Straight ahead, we're doing so by boat. Get ready to see the wonders of this community from the water. It's a community in which you can't help but want to stay. Good news, you can. It's easy. We're going to bring you not one but two area hotels, the Holiday Inn Express and Hilton Garden Inn, with more than enough amenities to offer. And hospitality is twofold in this community, as those who run the local restaurants take next level care of patrons. We're grabbing bites at both Bridges 
and Harris Crab House. You know what follows dinner? <laughs> Dessert. So we're going to end this day with a sweet stop at dessert first, Dockside Coffee and Dessert Bar. <sighs> Del Marvel Life Small Town Series, Kent Narrows. We will be right back. Del Marvel Life is brought to you by Tidal Health. Better together, less duplication, more collaboration. The Law Offices of Tunnel and Razor, Spicer Brothers Construction, Gateway Subaru, a and Companies, and Pam Price and Associates, Remax Coast and Country. The following segments in today's Small Town Series are brought to you by the Queen Anne's County Economic and Tourism Development Office. You're watching Del Marva Life, and we are continuing with our Kent Narrows Small Town Series, and it is time now for a tour of the Kent Narrows waterfront and waterways. And there's no better place to start that tour than where we are right now. That's the Chesapeake Heritage and Visitor Center. We've got the lovely Gigi Winley with the Kent Narrows Development Foundation with us. This is a beautiful facility. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah. And this facility is, is owned by Queen Anne's County, but it's the main visitor center for the area. Yeah. So the visitor center houses a museum. It houses visitor information for regional, Info, info uh, local info, and uh, Queen Anne's County information. And when you come to the visitor center, you can experience not only getting your visitor information, but also taking a walk out to beautiful Fairy Point Park. You're walking down a boardwalk trail across a salt marsh and being able to get out to see the, the Chester River and all the wildlife and the nature and, and uh, enjoy the beautiful scenery that the Chesapeake Bay area has to offer. Yeah. Can I pretty much see all the Kent Narrows from right here? You can, and if there's, if there's four quadrants, it's all connected. So we're, right now we're sitting in the northeast quadrant, and behind me is the Kent Narrows waterway, and that right behind me connects to the Delmarva Peninsula. So we're on an island right now, but right behind me is that connection to the Delmarva Peninsula. And you can walk right over the bridge along our trailways and visit some of the best seafood restaurants and hotels and trails around. Perfect. So let's, uh, what do you say we take a look at these quadrants by boat? Sounds good. Let's go. Well, we are on the water now, and we've got Joe Palmerantz, who is the general manager of Piney Narrows Yacht Haven, and you're also on the Kent Narrows Development Foundation, right? Yes, that's correct. The board, uh, we've got a 13-member board. Uh, we're appointed by the county commissioners based on uh, generally a suggestion from somebody in the community. Primarily, we're a group of uh, property owners, business operators, and residential people that uh, are basically overseeing the development within the Kent Narrows, make sure it's consistent with the county covenants and the comprehensive plan. We're just uh, thankful for a terrific day today here on the water. And, and I'm thankful for uh, Kirby Schultz, who's uh, driving the boat, right? There's Kirby. Say hi, Kirby. Well, here we are on the water, uh, backside of the Kent Narrows, and we're overlooking here with the Holiday Inn Express, the grounds that uh, backs up to the waterway here off the Chester River. Uh, they have a lot of functions that they can perform there on the outside. Uh, when you've got beautiful weather like this, it's, uh, it's a perfect setting for a wedding or conferences. Absolutely. And uh, they certainly enjoy the fact that they've got terrific access vehicular wise, you know. Yeah. And I can only imagine the view that they get to see from their windows. Yes. <laughs> yep. We're looking at them, but for them, it's it's just a, it's like a portrait out here. Yeah. So here we are at the top of the Narrows. We're on the north side of the Kent Narrows, coming out of the channel, actually in the channel right now, but off to our starboard side here on the right. We've got Ferry Point Park, which is an extension of the county government park system. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, it's it's adjacent to the Heritage and Visitor Center for the county, mm -hmm. right here at Kent Narrows and uh, just a beautiful, pristine, naturally occurring area of land and water. This area of the Kent Narrows on the western side, Kent Island side, they're, they're completing this bulkhead here. They've got the Department of Natural Resource police boats that are uh, berthed here as well. And uh, they've had two of their berths redone. Just a terrific uh, show of, of uh, revitalizing the area. I would think so. Carries nicely right on into our uh, dock at Piney Narrows. And then mm -hmm. beyond that, we've got the new restaurant that's under development here for this side of the Narrows. First time we've seen that. The hotel is next door. 
Here we are coming up on Harris Crab House. Uh, we've also got Harris Seafood Company, the packing house, long time foothold on this area of the Narrows. Mm -hmm. uh, Harris Crab House, well renowned for all of their delicious food. Do you have a favorite meal? Oh, just crabs in general. Crabs in general, perfect. But their oysters are outstanding as well. And the outdoor dining, especially on a day like this, you can't beat it. Cannot. And then we've got dessert first, too. Dessert first, right alongside. So you can get your main meal, your dessert, or your coffee in the morning. So here's Bridges. We're here at Bridges, uh, just outside of uh, south side of Kent Narrows. Mm -hmm. So we've got the terrific approach from the south. Yeah. Uh, Bridges is uh, well renowned for just top shelf food and, yeah. and drink and accommodations. Yeah. Off our port side of the boat here, we have Hilton Garden Inn, another uh, prominent area to stay. Great accommodations right along the water. Yeah. Uh, just uh, phenomenal interior, uh, great breakfast. They mm -hmm. uh, cater to the public mm -hmm. no matter what the event. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people in and out with weddings and right. different conferences. Yeah. You've got so many hotels, it'd be tough to choose. That is, yeah, <laughs> at times it is. So we have a castaway here with the over the water accommodations, two full bedrooms, two full baths, the deck space up top, terrific for music at night or during the day. Yeah. Just a beautiful way to get away. Another example of Kenton Arrows at its best. Can't get any closer to the water. Not at all. And then we've got the Yacht Club. Yacht Club, we've got uh, Kent Island Yacht Club here to the south on the Kent Island side here in Kent Narrows. Um, home of the Chesapeake Bay Motoring Festival, which happens every summer. And Joe, you've got a cool nickname for the Kent Narrows. We like to talk about the Kent Narrows being the front door to the Eastern Shore. You're coming on to Kent Island from the Bay Bridge. You're almost to the Eastern Shore. You're on Kent Island, but then when you cross Kent Narrows, you're entering the Eastern Shore, wow. the peninsula between Maryland, Delaware, Virginia. Open it right up and boom, there you are. Yep, come on in. We're ready for you. I love it. And I guess our tour ends here. I'm sad. Me I've too. enjoyed it. It's been a terrific day. Yeah. And I hope you've enjoyed all the different sights and sounds of Kent Narrows. Seeing it by boat is really something else. That's the time to do it. Yeah. Joe Pomerantz, you are, of course, the general manager of the Piney Narrows Yacht Haven, and you're also with the Kent Narrows Development Foundation. Thank you so much for taking us around today. This was awesome. My pleasure. And thanks, thanks again to Captain Kirby Schultz. Everybody give him a hand. All right, Del Marvel. Please come back. <laughs> Del Marvel Life Small Town Series Kent Narrows. We'll be right back. Now, I don't know about you, but when I travel, I like to find a place where I can park myself and then have all these wonderful destinations within a, a, a certain radius. Well, Kent Narrows is one of those places. If you take a look at the map, you can see if you start here, you can visit places like St. Michael's, Easton, Ocean City, Annapolis, all different locations, all within a very short drive. Now, if you do that, you wanna find a place to stay maybe a night, maybe two. Well, I've got the answer for you. Holiday Inn Express. Good afternoon, thank you for calling the Holiday Inn Express Kent Island. When you check into the Holiday Inn Express Kent Island, you're on track to check out a world of possibilities. This area is kind of, over the last say 10, 15 years, has kind of matured and getting more and more things. And some of them are kind of a little pocket that might be tucked out of the way, but, um, you know, we can get you there. And Director of, of Operations uh, uh, Eric Hoffman yeah. and his staff have created a place to anchor as you set out for adventures. Some are nearby. There's a lot specifically here right at the Narrows with restaurants. Um, you've got dock bars. All of these are walkable from right here at our hotel. Others are a short car ride away. A lot of the guests, you know, when they come here, you know, they'll take a day trip to Annapolis for the day, walk downtown. It's absolutely gorgeous down there. Um, they come back here, you know, just kind of relax for the night. Next day, they're down in St. Michael's. They're doing wine tastings. They're going out on boat trips all day. It brings people from all over the state that come enjoy this trail. Uh, it's paved and or boardwalk pretty much the whole the whole part of it. So. And Atlantic so, Beach towns yeah. aren't the Are only there, ones yeah. with a boardwalk to boast. You'll find one here, too. In fact, it's much longer. There's what's called the Cross Island Trail that basically starts right here at our hotel and is uh, 
couple miles of boardwalk up here going further east and then goes about six miles back to the Bay Bridge. The Cross Island Trail makes the Holiday Inn Express the perfect place for runners and cyclists. And the good thing is you got access right here from the hotel. We've actually just added a bike rack to accommodate the, uh, the demand for, for biking and, and on the trail. Holiday Inn Express Kent Island is also a great place for company getaways, especially if fishing trips are on the schedule. They come out and they'll bring uh, their, work, their work employees out here and they'll do fishing trips. Uh, for the day out here in the Narrows, they'll go down to St. Michael's, they might hit Y Island for some fishing. So it's really a, one of, I call it one of the biggest central hubs here on the Eastern Shore. Other attractions in or near Kent Narrows are like none other. Another big attraction in our area is um, a facility called the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center. It's a large acreage of facility right on the water that has a uh, top-notch birding, wildlife viewing. Uh, the ladies are running are fantastic, friends of ours that we just love, and we, we try to support the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center a lot. And that can, you can spend a whole day there if you're into nature and birding. And speaking of nature. We've also got uh, some beaches in the area that have become becoming more and more popular. We've got uh, right here at the Narrows a park called Fairy Point Park that has a, has a little beach and some boardwalk to it. We've got um, Terrapin Nature Park, which is right at the base of the Bay Bridge here on the east side, that has a nice long beach and, uh, and some hiking and, and, and actually mountain biking track there now. So there's, there's little things that are springing up in this area that if you don't know about it, we can get you where you need to go. There's even something for music lovers. Yes, Paul Reed Smith Guitars Factory is right here on Kent Island and um, you can take tours through their facility, which brings some people from around the country, believe it or not. Paul Reed Smith Guitars is uh, one of the bigger brands around and has a big following. Kevin takes pride in what he does and it shows. For him, it's about more than giving people a room for the night. It's about making sure their stay is a pleasant experience. If I can make people smile at the end of the day, I know I did my job. If they leave unhappy, I'm unhappy. So the more smiles I get from guests, it, my job's easier. Eric says another reason folks are making their way to the Holiday Inn Express on Kent Narrows are all the new breweries that are popping up in the area. Sounds like a lot of fun. Well, stick around. Our small town series, Kent Narrows, continues after the break. It is no secret that so much of what makes Kent Narrows spectacular is it's idyllic location right on the water. Um, you know, when you dine at Bridges Restaurant, you really get a sense of the grandeur while you're enjoying the flavorful foods. Now, uh, Bridges has been open for 12 years, offers, offers a signature dining experience like no other. Yeah, plates that please the palate, vivid views and service that's just plain stellar. When you're a guest there, you're treated like royalty and taken care of like family. A panoramic picture that's practically perfect. I think every table in the house has an amazing view. Fancy fare that's filled with flavor. Everybody loves our uh, teriyaki salmon. And that's only the beginning of the beauty of Bridges Restaurant. I, I'd like to say that we're a scratch kitchen, um, so all of our recipes are our own. So when you come to Bridges, you're not going to get something that you would be able to get anywhere else. You're going to have a signature dining experience. Michael Moon is the general manager. He learned food as a love language early in life. I was raised by my great grandmother who loved through food. You never went into her home and left without a full belly. No matter what time of day it was, um, she always made sure that she showed you how much she cared for you by making sure you had a good meal. And so when it comes to that kind of care, what folks get at Bridges is top quality. Good amount of steaks. Um, crab cakes are, you know, pretty, pretty good. Nathan Eversall is the head chef. He's been with Bridges since the beginning. His fervor for food began when he was a young boy. I was picking produce as a kid, so I was always around food and just it excited me. So He takes that excitement and shares it with folks who come to dine. I do like a little bit of everything. And he never lets this menu become mundane. We do um, a menu change twice a year. Um, we keep our staples, which are, you know, favorites, um, our 
you know, our customers love, you know, bruschettas and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So we try to keep those on our menu, not change those out as much. But some of the entrees and the sides we change out. Every year we expand, uh, we change, and we adapt to what our guests are asking for. All right, so last time I was here, I tried the Thai bowl, and it was so good. I seriously don't think I've stopped talking about it for the last year. Today we're going to try a little teriyaki salmon, and there's got some pineapple on here, so I'm excited about that. I don't know if I've ever had a salmon with pineapple. A little uh, green bean in there. That is a nice combination of flavors there with the pineapple, the little teriyaki sauce. I like the pineapple giving it a little bit of freshness. It feels like it's kind of like a, a light dish, but one that's really gonna keep you full as well. Here we go, let's try some mussels. Not talking about these ones, am I right? I love a good mussel. These are nice and open, here we go. Color is nice. That is so good, it's nice and rich. Oh, it just melts in the mouth. Delicious, Bridges, you did it again. This waterfront restaurant can cater to needs large and small. From hosting special events with big crowds to making sure someone with dietary concerns is comfortable, Michael has hospitality in his heart. There are a couple of sayings that I like to live by. One is, service is given, hospitality is felt. We want you to feel as though you are seen, heard, and cared for when you're dining at the restaurant. The other philosophy, or saying rather, that uh, really has stuck with me is, yes is the answer, now what's your question? An attentive approach that'll suit every kind of appetite. In our business, guests have many requests. Guests come in with, uh, from many different backgrounds and from um, all over the peninsula, um, so we, we have delegates that come from D.C., we have people from many different countries that travel through here on business, and we try to make sure that each of them has the experience that they're looking for. Me personally, I like sitting by the water, kind of enjoying the mood, relaxing, um, getting some good cocktails, getting good drinks, good food. Um, it's just kind of making an experience out of it. Hot tip, enjoying that experience as the day ends means something extra special. We have the most amazing sunsets on the Kent Narrows. Uh, any time of the year, it's absolutely gorgeous. Stunning scenery, meals both magnificent and memorable, and a crew that cares. One visit to Bridges, and you know you'll be back. And the restaurant is named Bridges after the sets of bridges that connect the western and eastern shore. And I, I tell you, there's not been something I have tasted at Bridges that I haven't liked. Yo, isn't that the truth? For real. Lisa and I were sitting there and, and you were talking about how they care for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Suddenly out of the blue, they bring us two cups of the most wonderful lemonade I've oh. ever had. And it was just fantastic. And there's nothing like a good lemonade on right? a warm summer day. And they brought it even without asking. That's just that's, a, they read your mind. You'll that's love who they the are. experience. All right, tell you what, let's do this. Let's press pause for just a second. Check out the uh, lineup on Delmarva Sports Network. Eight o'clock, Cape Hen Open at Sussex Academy Boys Lacrosse. Outdoors, Delmarva 10. Final score at 1030. Delmarva Live will be right back. A family business and a fixture in the seafood industry here on the eastern shore of Maryland. That would be the right way to describe our next stop on our Kent Narrows tour. Harris Crab House opened the doors of its restaurant four decades ago, and the operation actually started long before that. Yeah, today it's a special spot where folks eat fresh and flavorful seafood, and here's what's really cool. All you have to do is take a couple steps outside the restaurant, and you can see the dock to table process. Collected in the Chesapeake, brought in by boat, processed precisely, and prepared to perfection. Harris Crab House in Kent Narrows is serious about serving the freshest seafood on the Eastern Shore and has been since its inception in 1981. So we have many different local watermen. We try to supply everything from local watermen and bring in as much as we can. Our dock, we're the original farm-to-table or dock-to-table restaurant. Bill Ortel here is the president. 
His grandfather started the family business in 1947. Originally, they bought product from local oystermen or crabbers and sold it around the area, and then expanded to the rest of the United States and Canada. That still operates today as Harris Seafood Company. Jason Ruth is the owner. I started here when I was a kid, 13 years old, worked here all my life. Um, I was presented the opportunity to continue on the fa Harris family legacy, so I just kind of picked up where they left off and run it in the same manner that they have. Harris Seafood Company is now the last remaining year-round processing plant in the state of Maryland. To give you a little history, is like there was 26 oyster processing plants just here on the Kent Narrows, okay, 500 in Maryland at one time. So for them to have the success to be the only ones left when all the others fell to the side, I think I needed to take their business model and just run with it. So, um, you know, everything's exactly the same, the same equipment, some of the same people. We just kind of uh, ran it to this day the way they always, because it worked. That's a feat he doesn't take for granted. Yeah, I'm tickled with it, and that's helps us keep employees if we have work for them every day. So, And it keeps folks fed here in the restaurant. The experienced hands of executive chef Luis Espejo are a huge part of that. He starts with the seafood and then makes magic. Today we did um, the oyster sampler, which is uh, crab imperial oysters. We have um, casino oysters, and we have three cheese and baking oysters. That was the appetizer. And then Another one was the tuna avocado tower, which is uh, mango and cucumber salsa, uh, seaweed salad, and avocado. The main courses was chicken Chesapeake with hollandaise sauce on top, some uh, local farm vegetables, and then we did rockfish imperial. And then we also have a crab case, traditional crab case, a Maryland crab case, we're using a jumbo of crab meat. And don't forget the po' boy sandwich. Chef Luis is a big fan of all things fresh. The best part of making with fresh because the flavor is still on, on. It's not reserved for a couple of days, anything like that, when you lose the flavor on it, but it's better when you have a fresh seafood. And That's everything to us. Uh, we try to do the same thing with our produce. We have local farms that del deliver tomatoes, uh, lettuce, all that type of stuff. The big story here is there's a lot of families that grew up off of the water, uh, and we want to tell that story, and we want to keep that going. What are your favorite like seafood items here? Without a doubt, stuffed oysters is my favorite. Oysters on the half, a little bit of crab imperial, and they're broiled to perfection. I could eat it for breakfast. For breakfast? Yeah, that's my favorite thing. All right, it is taste testing time. First, I'm going to try the oyster casino. Looks amazing. Mmm. That's got a nice flavor to it. Got a little crunch to it. That's delicious and so cool that we saw this come right from farm to table. Imperial, oyster imperial time now. We'll give this guy a go. Don't know if I can get this all in in one bite, but we will, um... all right, here we go. That's probably a better idea. Mm. Crab meat gives it a great touch. Mm. I love enjoying this right on the water too. And uh, all right, here, here's the deal. The po' boy sandwich with the soft shell crab. Never had a soft shell crab before. So I'm kind of excited. I'm big sandwich, but I'm ready for it. That is delicious. Whatever sauce is on here, I'm so here for. Truly an operation that feeds the body, soul, and mind. Some of the lore of coming here to the Kent Narrows is that you get to learn a lot about the history. And then to add to that element is that you have Harris Crab House right there where, you know, they're an, a, 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 an old packing house, an old shucking house. And then in turn, you can walk right next door and see exactly how your food is made, so to speak. And it gives you the whole, as you say, farm to table experience where you can see the boats unload, you can see the oysters being processed and you know you don't just don't get any fresher than that. Harris Crab House is now on its fifth generation. Bill is third generation and has seen a lot of changes in the industry, but the commitment has stayed the same. A lot of hard work. Uh, so this this area, the Kenton area, area has a lot of farmers and a lot of watermen and everybody has a story to tell. Um, you know, they worked on the water 
had a family, that family moved on to something, and it's just keeping the tradition going. It's a lot of changes going on here in the uh, Kent Arrows area, but we're going to stay where we are. We're going to give the, the best food that you possibly can. We work hard to do it. You'll see the familiar faces here, all of our servers. Most of them have been here a long time, and same with the, the workers here. So we want to let them raise their family by serving good food and uh, enjoying the company. Tradition and tastes they'll continue to share for a long time. And Bill adds that they just started shipping some of their restaurant products nationally. So, Jimmy, folks in any state can go online and order items like crab cakes or stuffed oysters, have them delivered next day. The next day. Imagine being in California and just firing up some Harris Crab House food. And fresh and delicious. Exactly. Of course. <laughs> Kent Arrow Small Town Series, back in just a second. Time to continue now on our small town series, Kent Narrows. Before the break, we took you to Harris Crab House and learned about the longtime operation that serves the freshest of seafood. We're gonna stick around that property because just adjacent, you'll find dessert first. Now the owners of Harris Crab House started the Dockside Coffee and Dessert Bar just a few years ago. The delicious drinks and tantalizing treats inside are so heavenly, you might just need dessert before dinner. Don't worry, you won't be judged. Key Lime Pie Cheesecake. A homemade brown sugar cinnamon toaster pastry. Sweets so seemingly scrumptious, it's worth it to not wait. That's why this dockside coffee and dessert bar is called Dessert First. The grandfather of the owner always used to say, life is short, eat dessert first. So this is kind of a little tribute to where like the roots of the um, the restaurant came from. The restaurant is Harris Crab House. That was here first, and then the owners decided to open up dessert first in 2019. Nina Radzowitz is the general manager. She believes this business is a real asset to the area. Um, well, I think that coffee is a really, like a coffee shop is a really great social gathering place. Who doesn't love coffee and desserts? So it's a good, good thing to bring people together. Two halves making a whole. But let's break this down. Half one, the coffee. Dessert First serves Rise Up Coffee, an Eastern Shore original, and they get creative from there. We do um, like lattes, cappuccinos, all the good standard stuff that you can find at most coffee places, and then we do our own seasonal drinks. Jackie Lippy and her husband moved to Kent Narrows in 2014. She retired a few years ago and picked up a part-time job here as assistant manager. I'm certainly the oldest coffee shop employee here, which is okay, uh, and it's been fun. All right, Jackie, you're going to teach me how to make the perfect Jackie Lippy latte. Oh, woo! <laughs> let's I go. like it. Yeah. Well, that would be the vanilla cinnamon latte. Yeah, let's go. And so here we go. I've never so, done this before, so I don't right, know what I'm doing. Okay, I'll show you everything yes. step by step. Perfect. So I've got, this is a medium cup. Okay. So for a medium, we do two shots of espresso. Okay. So we have to first grind the espresso. Look at that. There you go. My latte might look good, but these two say the most popular drink is probably the coffee smoothie. And from the brews to the bites, the other half of this operation is, of course, the desserts, which come from a couple of kitchens. Um, we get our desserts from Piece of Cake, right in Stevensville, uh, Gluten Free Bakery Girl in St. Michael's, and then we make some stuff right at Harris Crab House. Too. This case is packed with everything from eclairs to streusels to mousse, and its decadence is dynamic. Yeah, it's really fun because you can come and get your favorite or you can try something new. The spot sits at an ideal location for a few reasons. First of all, being in Kent Narrows, they welcome both folks from away and loyal locals. And being right on the water, the scene is serene. It's beautiful when it's nice weather. We roll up the doors and 
Uh, there's a nice breeze. Bold brews, tempting treats, a lovely location. It's no wonder this place demands to be a priority. I took home a couple toaster pastries. They were amazing. I had brown sugar cinnamon and my husband had strawberry. We were both obsessed. We'll be right back. From business meetings to team building to wedding parties and more, you can't pass up a venue with stunning views like this at the Hilton Garden Inn in Kent Island. When visiting the beautiful town of Kent Narrows, you're going to need a place to stay, and there's no shortage of rooms with a view, making it easy to enjoy a relaxing vacation or weekend getaway at the Hilton Garden Inn on Kent Island. Conveniently situated near the marina, seafood restaurants, golf course, and state park, your stay at the Hilton Garden Inn in Kent Island will be the perfect place, whatever your needs. And it all starts with the friendly staff ready to check you in. Whether you're excited to be able to greet people in person or you're still a little nervous about COVID-19 precautions, the Hilton Garden Inn makes it easy for guests to check in and feel safe. We're excited to have guests come back, first of all, let me just say that. Um, but we do have a contactless uh, check-in system. If you are a Hilton Honors member, you will have an app, and on the app it allows you to digitally check in, so you don't have to necessarily come to the front desk. Um, it also allows you to pick out your room 24 hours before your arrival. If you like to stay fit while on vacation, the amenities at the Hilton Garden Inn have you covered. Some of the other amenities that we offer here is we have a fitness center. Uh, we also have a pool that's open. Um, now, due to still, we are still under some COVID restrictions, so we do have a uh, maximum capacity that we um, display for those uh, fitness center and the pool. Uh, we do have a hot whirlpool that's in there. Our pool is an indoor pool. It is heated, so that makes it extra nice so that you can swim all year round. And if you don't feel like going too far to find a meal, the hotel restaurant is open. Our restaurant, the Garden Grill and Bar, is open daily for breakfast and for dinner. We are closed to the public for lunch. Uh, we do, however, host our corporate meetings and everything. We do have the opportunity to serve them for lunch inside the hotel. With a chef that's been providing guests with delicious meals for years, you won't go hungry at the Hilton Garden Inn. Chef has been here for the last 15 years, so he actually has a following himself and he does some great specials. People look forward to that on the holidays. Because Kent Narrows is surrounded by wonderful wedding venues, the Hilton Garden Inn on Kent Island is a great place to have your guests stay. But that's not the only reason to book rooms or spaces with the Hilton Garden Inn. It's a great spot for your team building activities and business meetings as well. So we do have two main meeting spaces uh, available at our hotel. One of them is a 1500 square foot divisible space that will allow for small meetings as well as larger ones. We also do uh, wedding receptions. We do uh, bridal brunches, bridal parties. <laughs> Um, and we also have an overflow space which leads out to the second level terrace. We're able to accommodate uh, probably up to 80 guests up here for cocktail parties and things like that. If you need overflow space for your meetings or a more intimate space for your cocktail parties, the terrace is a great spot. Well, the terrace level is seasonal. It's open from uh, spring to fall um, and it is available up until 9 p.m. In the evening, it's available for cocktail parties as well as uh, any outdoor events. It can also be an overflow for larger meeting space. So if you need a place for your wedding party to stay, business meetings, team building exercises, or maybe you're just looking to get away for a little weekend retreat, the Hilton Garden Inn has everything you need for a peaceful getaway. And don't forget, you can grab breakfast or dinner at the restaurant, which is open to the public. You can get more information on our website, delmarvalife.com, and we'll be right back. Closed captioning for Delmarva Life is brought to you by Marilyn Relay. Well, I've had a blast today on this whole Kent Narrows experience, round three. And it's cool because round three, we just learned so much more than we did in round one, two. There's just only more to learn. And I think what was really fun was, you know, we went to a bunch of these businesses, but then getting to see them while we're riding on the boat and seeing right. them from the boat is just extra special, too. Now, there's only so much that we can share with you on TV. Mm -hmm. You got to go. Yeah. So, and please. when you go, please let us know how what you, what you do, where you eat, where you stay. Tell us all the things. I remember the first time we did our Kent Narrow Small Town series, I had a woman at church come up to me and said, Katie, 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 you went to Bridges Restaurant, right? Like, I remember seeing you, and I remember being like, yes, and it was delicious. And she then 
was like, okay, I think I'm gonna go for my birthday. And then the next time at church saw her and she loved it too. So, there you, go. you know, we know we're, we're telling the truth here. It's there a great you go. place. There you go, <laughs> gotta go. All right, tomorrow we've got soul food in the Del Marva Life kitchen and we are helping you with your summer garden. Yeah, time now to head down the hall to the Newsplex for WBOC News at six. We'll see you back here tomorrow.